Mr. Brown. I haven't had a chance to welcome you yet. So he was on sabbatical. Um, so he, he'll be telling us about the elusive agent of electroweak symmetry breaking from an experimentalist point of view. So it's a pleasure as uh, well, the latest addition of Brown faculty <coughs> in the physics department to already be allowed to give a talk on uh, celebrating Jerry's accomplishments. Um, well, when I started my career as a particle physicist, um, I always considered the Higgs boson, oh, wait, Jerry's <laughs> particle. <coughs> as the holy grail of particle physics, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, the quest for this particle at mostly left the Tevachan and the LHC. Of course, up to now, it's been all rather elusive. I have to <coughs> show one slide here uh, that was live before LAP, and there were some limits on the hips <coughs> before LAP, and I randomly picked this, ex this slide here, this <coughs> picture from my thesis experiment. Uh, it's a cusp experiment at Caesar, and uh, what you see here is the spectrum of photons from upsilon 1s decays. And if there is a if the if there's a light, relatively light Higgs, the upsilon decays two plus a photon, then you would see a monochromatic line in here. That you don't see any allowed <coughs> the cusp experiment to set a limit uh, of the on the Higgs boson mass of about uh, that is less <coughs> ex to exclude Exposure mass is less than 5 GeV. Of course, this limit and other limits set by other experiments are very subject to very significant uncertainties in calculating this branching fraction here. So uh, that it's that's a rather difficult <coughs> way to search for the Higgs boson or set limits on it. Now, <coughs> a lot of work on the looking for the H boson was done by the lab experiments and the main lab experiments and that <coughs> put together to study the Z boson, so here we see a Z decay, <coughs> and also to find the Higgs boson, and lab produced electron positron coll collisions uh, in the first, what, six years of its life. It collided these at the mass, as a center of mass energy which is equal to the Z boson mass, and then in the last uh, few years, uh, the Mass, the center of mass energy was increased up to 209 GeV primarily to find the Higgs boson. So uh, I'm going to show you a number of examples where the experimental program was really driven by the quest for the uh, for Jerry's particle. So this is this talks really about the billion dollar damage that uh, your work has done. So how is <coughs> this boson produced at lab? Um, through its coupling with the Z boson at lab one, where the center of mass energy is the Z mass, we get an on-shell Z boson that radiates a Higgs, we get an off-shell off Z boson that decays <coughs> uh, in the final states state. And uh, so here we see the center <coughs> of mass energy, here we see the cross section <coughs> for a Higgs uh, production. This peak here is, is at the Z mass, and uh, the different color lines are for ever heavier Higgs <coughs> boson masses. And you see that <coughs> the heavier the mass is, the smaller the production cross section. So when the Higgs boson mass approaches the Z mass, then you don't get any production anymore in this, in this scheme. You have to go to higher energies, then you produce off shell Z bosons that then can decay to an on-gel Z boson and uh, an Higgs boson. And that's what you see here. And then the cross-section turns up when you reach a center of mass energy of equal to the <coughs> uh, Higgs boson mass plus the Z boson mass. Well, at lab one, searches at very low, for that very low mass Higgs bosons um, were, were done by looking to for a coplanar um, lepton pairs. So these come from the Z decay. And the Higgs, if it's very light, could be, ha could be having a relatively long lifetime and actually escaping the detector, so it's not, it's not visible. You just look for these the signatures, a coplanar lepton pair signature. If, when the mass goes up, it, the Higgs may decay to 
that to uh, e plus e minus, mu plus mu minus. Further up in mass, <coughs> it decays <coughs> when, when, when the mass, as long as the mass is below the 2 times the B quark mass, you get decays to gluons, to C quarks, to tau pairs. And finally, if you go further up in mass, you get decays to BB bar pairs. So you see two jets. <coughs> so in all these, uh, what you look for is the Z. You want to decay to the charged leptons or to neutrinos, because then you have very little background in these searches. <coughs> and what's plotted here is the branching fraction of the, H of the Z to H plus Z, Z star, um, versus the mass that it's exposed on. There's very little background for this. Uh, unfortunately, Lev didn't see any events either, and so they ended up uh, with a limit of the Higgs boson mass at 65 GeV, excluding everything below 65 GeV. Moving on to Lev 2, the energy was increased, and now we can see, <coughs> now we're looking for, for uh, Higgs bosons at, at higher masses, so the only significant branching fractions are dominantly it will decay to BB bar, and a small fraction will decay to tau. So that the only final states for the Higgs that you have to consider at this point, and then the, the Z that comes along with it can decay to neutrinos, in which case you don't see it, or to charged leptons, or it can decay to uh, BB bar. If it decays to other things, there's too much background, so you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't see it. OK, so you'll see some examples of what these events would look like. And uh, well, it turns out they did see as, as Lev was uh, approaching the highest energy he was going to get to, um, the ex some of the experiments, especially one particular one, we're seeing some intriguing events. So here's an example of an event with four jet in them, four jets in them. These uh, colored lines here are reconstructions of the of charged particles in the detector, uh, grouped together into jets by an algorithm. So you see. Um, a green, a red, a yellow, and a blue jet. And if you zoom into the center, you see that the tracks of the green jet all emanate far away from the uh, primary, from the interaction point where the P plus E minus collision happens. And also, the tracks from the yellow jet emanate far away <coughs> from the primary interaction point. This is a si uh, the signature of, of B jets. So these two are most probably uh, from B quarks. And then we have two jets that are from lighter quarks or gluons. These add up to the Z mass, and these here have some <coughs> mass near 116 GeV, 